Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. So in this lesson, we're going to get the code in place that's going to manage our attack animations. And then we'll work on the actual code to manage the inputs from the joypad in order to call them functions. But first, let's just get the animations in place first now if you look at this line as i explained in the previous lesson we've created an array but the attacks will not be random and we're going to actually call a specific number from that array and in this lesson i'm going to begin at least to show you how we do that so let's just scroll all the way down to where we have our animations. So here we are, high and low punch, high and low kick. So let's have a look here. And in fact, I've just made a little mistake I've noticed there in the naming convention so just change that to low kick anim and I'll just go through and make sure these debug logs are correct so okay that's in place now and let's come to the first one which is going to be the high punch so we'll say underscore and I want player one anim dot and we want crossfade. We're going to open and close brackets, close that line off, and then we'll come inside the brackets and we'll say player. And what we want is player attack anim. We're going to open and close the square type of brackets and I'm going to port the number zero inside the brackets. We'll come outside and we'll say dot name. So as you can see it's pretty much the same as before when we've called animation and I'll just look at this jump animation line here. So exactly the same for this part, it's just that because we've used an array, we're going to call a specific number. So when I come to assign my animations, this high punch is going to be assigned to the first one in the array. So I need to use the zero inside the square bracket. So let's put that into the comments. Crossfade in high punch animation. And now you can all guess what's going to happen. We're going to copy and paste that line into the next three states. And this is actually really simple. We just need to change that number to one higher. So we start at zero, one, then two, and then number three. So we'll come to the comments and we'll change the comment as appropriate. So high kick for that line. And finally, low kick. Let's save that off. And then we're going to come below here and we're going to create of type private void. And actually we'll start with, let's keep them in the same order. So we'll start with high punch. We'll open and close brackets. We'll open and close again. Let's copy and paste that in. So low punch, high kick, 
And finally, low kick. And let's actually get a debug log and we'll paste that in as well into each and every one. We'll just swap out the naming conventions inside the debug log. And we're nearly there now. So let's come to the first one. And we'll just call the function above. So player and we want the high punch anim. Open and close brackets, close that line off into the comments and I'll say core function I'll just copy and paste that in so then we'll go ahead and again we'll copy the and paste this line in And we'll just go through and change what needs to be changed. So, for low punch, we're going to be needing this function. Get rid of that empty line as we go. And here as well. Remembering to change the comments as we go. And finally, for this last one, we need the player low kick an function. Get rid of the empty line as well. So, we're now calling that functions. And in fact, let's come up to the top here. We'll add a comma to come down backwards and we'll enter and we'll create a new state called wait for animations. Remember no comma now on this one because it's the last one. And let's come and you can copy any line where we change the state. And let's come in and we'll paste that in to each and every one of these states. So finally for high kick and low kick as well. So now let's go ahead and we're going to actually change to this new state here wait for animations so let's just copy that naming convention and we'll just keep pasting it in and we'll just keep going so there and there as well we'll tidy up the comments as we go And let's come up to the actual finite state machine here. Let's copy that last case or three lines. And we'll copy that naming convention again. So we'll just create it in the finite state machine. And of course we're going to have a problem with a red error because we haven't created that state. But we'll go ahead and do that now. So I'll come here to just below come down backwards because that's the last state. We'll create private void with that naming convention. As always we'll copy in one of the debug logs. And we'll just sw swap out the naming convention. So 
with that in place we'll just check yes that red error has, has now gone so it's fairly simple to call animations from an array as you can see but um, it's not something that I see done too often so I thought this would be quite good to show you how it's done seeing as how, how simple it actually is and um, in the next lesson we carry on obviously we have this function to fill out we have the inputs to fill out and uh, quite a few other things we've got some more states to create so we'll pick this up in the very next lesson so as always i hope you enjoyed this lesson i hope to see you next time and until then as always bye for now